Brett Okamoto is UFC President Dana White following a busy night here at Madison Square Garden. UFC 244 just wrapped up. Let's talk about the main event, obviously, the highly anticipated BMF title fight, Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal. Great fight while it lasted. Yep. It ended in a way that I don't think many of us would have guessed or had hoped for. Tell me your perspective, sort of what was going through your head as that, as that unfolded. Yeah, cuts that big are always a problem, you know. Um, when it first got stopped, I was like, come on, man, you guys didn't stop the Tyson Fury fight. Um, it wasn't these guys. It was a different commission. But I'm basically saying that fight didn't get stopped for cuts. Then, then as I just went back and talked to Nate Diaz and looked at Nate Diaz's face, this thing is his eyebrows literally flipping over like this, and he has another cut right underneath it fight probably should have been stopped. Could Nate Diaz keep going? Did Nate Diaz want to keep going? Yes. That's why we love Nate Diaz, but probably shouldn't have. You know, I haven't had a chance, obviously, to track this down exactly what the rules are, but is it just is it just doctor's discretion? I mean, is there criteria on, on when you should stop a fight due to a cut? Do you know? I, I think there is. I think doctors know when they see a cut that um, is either putting the fighter's health at risk, meaning he can't see, which Nate Diaz absolutely positively could not see out of that eye mm -hmm. kept trying to wipe the blood out at one point i saw the blood squirting out of it mm -hmm. and uh you know it, it's easy for us to all act tough you know me sitting over in my comfy chair by the octagon and everybody else at home and in the stands nate diaz was in there split wide open over and under the eye and you know probably should have been stopped do you think this leaves any controversy in what was, you know, unfolding between Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz? I mean, we all know Nate, he tends to come on late in those rounds. I mean, does this leave unanswered questions about that matchup in your mind? Yeah, that's true. The true that Nate does try to take the fights into the later rounds and, and comes on strong later. Um, but what we did see, right up, listen, fights get stopped by TKOs, KOs, cuts, these type of things stop fights. And, you know, Jorge Masvidal was pretty dominant. Right yeah. after the stoppage. As he's been all year. I mean, you yeah. look at what he did to Darren Till, the knockout of Ben Askren, and now this fight. He, he looked like a welterweight title contender. Is that how you're looking at him now? or He looked fantastic. He's looked fantastic, like you said, all year. And, uh, yeah, he's he's got something good coming up next. I don't know what yet, but I'll, uh, I'll have it figured out in the next week or so. Okay, yeah, you don't know, and, and, and you never figure it out on fight night, but high po possibility that he could be. He could be a number one contender after tonight. A lot of things could happen after tonight, yeah. I mean, I, I think a lot of options are open for him after tonight. Okay, how about that co-main event? Obviously, the first time that we had seen Darren Till at 185 pounds, he had a weird fight week where he came in on Thursday. How would you rate his performance tonight? Yeah, considering, you know, what he went through, um, and he still got here, he still made weight and, and everything else, we, we, we were just lucky to have that fight. So, all good. Mm -hmm. Where do you think he fits in now in the middleweight pitcher after beating a, a guy who Kelvin Gaston just six months ago took Israel Adesanya to the brink of defeat? So, I mean, where do, where do you see him there in that 185-pound division? Yeah, I think that when he has uh, the proper time to get in on like a Monday before and, and do all the things, you know, cut weight the right way and all, all the stuff that he needs, he's probably going to look good. I mean, Till's a great fighter. He's a young, up-and-coming guy. And, uh, you know, he didn't look like a world beater. That wasn't the most exciting fight of the night, but he won. Yep. And you've talked about how Israel Adesanya was supposed to fight Paulo Costa. Paulo Costa is out for a little bit due to that biceps injury. Could Darren Till become, come into that conversation, or are you moving in a different direction? I don't know. I, I don't know tonight. Okay. Uh, any other thoughts that stick out? I mean, you had another, a few different fights that could have, could have resulted in number one contenders. No. Corey Anderson versus Johnny Walker. What was your thoughts on well, that? Corey Anderson came in angry, yeah. pissed off, <laughs> you know, felt like – um, we were against him and making him fight Johnny Walker, and he should have got a title shot and all this other stuff. Guess what? Sometimes you have to prove yourself. You know what? Maybe we didn't see that in you, and, and, and whatever the case was, and neither did the fans. When he, when he walked up on stage the other day, Johnny Walker got a big pop at the weigh-ins. He got nothing. Well, guess what? You turned it all around tonight. Yep. Sometimes you got to take these fights that you think, you know, th these guys get all, um, you know, paranoid and think that we're, we're oh, you're trying to get me beat. How can I get you beat? I'm, I'm, I'm matching you up with guys that are in your division. If they can beat you, then I guess I shouldn't have given you a title shot already. Well, he went out tonight, and, John, and Walker is young, you know, and he's got this um, playful attitude. You don't come out and play with a guy like Corey Anderson, who is angry and drop-dead serious in that octagon and, 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 and wants and needs to win that fight because yep. this is what happens when you do. And, uh, and good for Corey. Corey came out tonight. He woke everybody up, and he showed everybody who he is, and he shows everybody what he deserves.
Yeah, really great, great, great performance by him. Two weeks ago, though, you had another great performance in Dominic Reyes. Is he still ahead of Corey Anderson in your mind as far as the yeah. pecking order? Yeah. Okay. Last thing I want to do, I do want to ask you about. Don't hold back. Any detail, every detail you have about Conor McGregor. He wants to come back, he says, on, on January 18th. I know you've, you've been asked about this a million times, but where do things stand exactly right now as of There's tonight? There's literally nothing done. You know, all the talk of Cowboy, Cowboy Cerrone hasn't even been called. Mm -hmm. Cowboy Cerrone sent me a text tonight, today saying, I hope all this chatter is true. Okay, so th there's literally nothing going on with Conor McGregor right now. Well, let me ask you this, because it was no secret that you you and the, the, the promotion were not thrilled with the idea of him fighting Frankie Edgar. Are you more on board with him fighting Cowboy? Do you think that that is a fight that makes sense? If the negotiations go well, do you yeah, like that fight for Conor? I do, I do. Would it be your first choice? I don't know. I don't know. Nothing, yeah. I don't know. And then one last thing about Connor. I feel like no one's asked you this yet, but the New York Times has reported that he is, in, he is the suspect of, of multiple sexual assault allegations. I'm just wondering, as a company, as a president, how do you take reports like that? How do you take that into consideration when you're talking about a guy about a, about a potential fight? Yeah, it's obviously not fun. I mean, that's not good stuff. It's not stuff that we're, we're excited to hear. Um, and, you know, he just pled guilty to this, to this other thing, too. So, um, yeah. There, there's nothing going on right now, and when there is, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.